Good evening, it is Matt Rogers and thank you for listening to this broadcast, the 30th of the 12th 2018 and I'm now showing you what you can see on the screen of the European Southern Observatory Telescope image. This is a webcam in high definition and something is still going on with our skies. Something of strange anomalies, strange breakdown of cloud systems, chemical formations binding into the clouds. Again what we're seeing is a view site of a very dark sun appearing to the center of the photograph. So that's now take this image and observe the situation in hand. Okay, it's so important as well, isn't it, to show the date and the timestamp as well. So this is a live cam that we're viewing on the screen. Now, when viewing these webcams, things become more apparent all the time, because even in secluded areas like you see of the uh, European Southern Observatory Telescope, not many people are out. They still smudge up the skies. They still use HARP to cover using natural cloud formations, again, that you can see on the screen here and down here, to cover up gaps. Can you see these gaps in the background? Why are we seeing these gaps and other colors? It's apparent as well, and very fascinating to see the sun like this. Look at this red color that's uh, beaming right across the outer area of where we see the sunlight. Indeed, this does not look like sunlight. It looks like something else appearing through our skies, even to the right side of the uh, photograph. Let's zoom in. We're seeing many colors, aren't we? Now, this area, there is another color behind there. If you can just catch that. Down here as well, this formation appears as well. This purple haze with these other colors. Now, for 2018, and it's going to be very interesting for 2019, because indeed this area to the right side is becoming much stronger. It's illuminating these other colors. Look at the area that we see at the viewpoint of the sun on this photograph. The golden sun is missing. What you're seeing in is this red color that's appearing straight in front of it around reflecting through these other cloud systems and formations that appear through the daytime skies. Even to this area here is quite fascinating. Let me just move along to the photograph. Look at this. This looks very strange how the sky is like this. Can you see in the background again you see the dark sky but again you can see this line appearing. It's as if they are cutting out cloud systems. I mean, what is going on here? That photograph again that you saw, the view sides of a live cam, which I'm showing you now, is showing you these formations. And again, these um, lines, they are too straight. We've seen these on um, photographs from uh, Genuine Sky Watchers. April D. 7391 from Iowa showed a photograph on another video just gone, showing this um, cloud system that seems to be looking like a diamond, like it's been cut by some sort of um, technology or something, just again, just to fold up the sky to cover up things. I mean, let me just um, zoom into this area to show you this again. All I'm doing is, is just observing for you to see this. Can you see the line just appearing down here? I mean, what's going on? Why are we seeing a dead straight line? And it maneuvers in front of this formation. Let's just go back and show you this. Here is this formation. It's as if they've moved this in front of uh, this area again. Now, we've seen many of these strange anomaly shapes through the skies after geoengineering, and it's always to smudge out this color, this rainbow refraction. I mean, why are we seeing these colors so evident for our skies? I mean, the area of the sun as well is highly strange. It really is. It shouldn't be like this. I mean, just by zooming into the uh, the webcam, you can clearly see it. it is a genuine photograph, a live image of the uh, European Southern Observatory. Look at the photograph. I'm only doing this just to show you again, there is no trickery, nothing whatsoever. It is a genuine photograph that you're viewing on the screen here. So when you just um, zoom out slightly again, To appear into where we see the sun, 
the sunlight to this area. It's so different. There is that color again that is beaming across. Something down here is strange as well. It could be normal, but I noticed this as well. Let me just uh, take a zoom in shot of this area for you. Here it is here, to this area. Look at this. Let me just uh, zoom in. Now, it is showing to be cloudy down at the observatory. But again, what is this coming out of this mountain area? I mean, there is no uh, other explanation while well, we're seeing this around here. I mean, is this causing this um, cloud system coming straight out of this rock? I mean, I've not seen this before. It's coming straight from uh, that area. Can you see how it's coming out there? Just another strange photograph. Again, it could be normal, but again, I've never seen anything like that before. I mean, I know factories around the world. They produced a lot of um, activity towards our sky, smudging out things. But that is very, very different as well. Okay, we're seeing many appearances through the skies. I'm going back to what I said about that reflection to the right-hand side, and we're noticing a halo through the skies for many long years now in front of our sun. We've picked up things through the halo as well, some sort of activity, some video that was made and produced some time ago by a kind person that sent the video footage in. Now, look at this photograph. This is very close to where we see the sun. This is supposed to be a cloud system. We are noticing this reflection again, very strong. Can you see this area here? This is a worrying sight. What is this we're seeing here? Because many people explain through different videos of TR3Bs. Huge craft. Many other people as well explain of huge ships out there above the Earth's atmosphere. Now, we saw video footage quite some time ago about huge interstellar starships by fantastic people that produce videos for us all to see let me do a zoom in shot of these areas of this photograph because the skies are becoming much more interesting and we're picking up things. I believe also that sooner or later we're going to see these objects. Can you see this here? This is blatantly obvious that something is up there. The formation again. It cannot be a plane. It cannot be a bird. It's got to be something else. Can you see the shine to the tip of this area here as well? This is huge and it's noticeably, again, behind the cloud systems. Something that is there. I'm just going to zoom out as well and do some things with this photograph because I believe that we all have the right to see it. This area here as well is far too dark for our skies. Is these objects that we're viewing on the screen now producing these formations, these different colors through the skies below the cloud systems? I mean, look at this color. The appearance is very strong, isn't it? And it seems to be as if it's arcing close to this um, this huge triangle object. I mean, the, the point of it is very apparent again. Are they above Earth's atmosphere? Are they in the cloud systems? Because we see these punched out whole clouds. See, again, the science community will explain that the planes just to try and cause rain, cloud seeding. But what we are viewing here is very different from cloud seeding. I'm going to change the contrast for you. Okay, I've changed the contrast and it becomes more observing, isn't it? It really is something that is definitely happening up there on the, um, of the skies. I mean, let me just zoom into these areas. This is very, very damning evidence of something, isn't it? Look at this line. We're picking up here something very real here I believe I mean the cloud systems are apparent we can indeed see this formation very very strong through our skies okay what I've done is I've panned out somewhat as well now look at this cloud system here now in the background I believe that this object is a very large size it could go on down here I'm not too sure but indeed it is a very similar shape than the punched out cloud systems that we see through the skies across the world. Now, are they using cloaking technology to hide themselves 
with this uh, anomaly that we're noticing on the screen. We notice also with these punched out whole clouds that they have these formations underneath. Just a cloud system again, just to try and smudge out what we're viewing here on the screen. We see many of these, uh, again, these rainbow refractions in the skies. And like I've stated before, it is always important to keep an eye on these when we start, again, to notice things. Just uh, zooming in again on this formation is very important. Is it a huge metallic object that we're noticing here on the screen? They've been picked up before on uh, through infrared. Documentaries have been uh, produced from years ago explaining of these uh, triangle-shaped formations. Or are we seeing a TR-3B? But looking at this as well, towards the cloud systems, that is a massive object. That is not a small object that you're noticing on the screen here. This is absolutely huge. Please be observers again to pick up the uh, rainbow refraction that we see to the right side of the sun, or even to the left side. Look again towards these punched out whole clouds. Something could have been seen and sighted very easily. So let's move on to something else because these photographs are just absolutely shocking. And I'm hoping now that more and more people can see this. Okay, what I'm doing now, I'm showing you the live cam, okay, because it's important, isn't it? Just to prove to you a, to a point as well that this object is showing to the left side of a dark sun. Timestamp again. You can clearly see 2011 on the 30th of December 2018. And here we have this object that is by the sun area. Look how they smokescreen the skies. Even look at the shape of the uh, cloud systems. I mean, come on. They're maneuvering these cloud systems now to highly smudge out something. What has returned? Or what are we seeing up there? Is this technology that is being produced by the powers that were? Or are we seeing something else that's come from somewhere else? I'm going to uh, just um, try to uh, move in for you with this um, video as well. Okay, what I've done is I've zoomed in to the whole picture. Now, we speak of many governments across the world. We know that many governments now are using the military to cover up our skies, spraying very heavily through our atmosphere. Now we're picking up these strange formations through our skies. This line, look at this line here. Again, look at this area. I mean, the sky is too black here. There is some huge object. Again, you're starting to see the cloud formation. It is descending. It's Moving away slightly, but again, we're starting to pick up this, aren't we? This is a huge object. Again, we're picking up the colours. We've seen these before many a times. So please, all of you, be observers to the heavens, because indeed, something is always going to be picked up now. It's going to be very interesting for 2019. Many objects of interest. So, thank you for listening to this very short publication, and I will be back very shortly from Matt Rogers.